Little River Band found success both in Australia and overseas, their unique sound appealing to a wide audience. Now, Adelaide raised B. Bertles formed part of the original lineup, and he's in town this week to accept a special honour. Patrick Major caught up with him. It's amazing that you can still hear those songs, you know, 40, 45 years later. In the late 70s and 80s, the Little River Band were trailblazers. Their catchy hits opened the door for other Australian artists to crack the US market. Beep Bertles was right in the midst of it. EMI picked Curiosity Killed the Cat to be the band's very first single. And of course that kind of, you know, put us on the charts. As a vocalist and the band's bass player, Beeb has fond memories of growing up in Adelaide. Walking to Rundell Street and going to a place called Beat Basement, where I saw some of Adelaide's finest bands back in those days. But Little River Band had aspirations beyond our shores. After limited success in the UK, the band came up with a plan. We didn't have a good front man who would be the person to talk to the audience but also have a good voice. That charisma. Right, and I said that the guys, well the best guy I can think of is Glenn Shorrock. Having already fronted the Twilights and Axiom, Shorrock was the right man to lead the band into the United States. They went on to sell 30 million albums. When we heard our voices together in that room we just looked at each other because we, we could hear that we had a very s special blend. Beeb helped write some of the band's biggest hits, including Home on a Monday. I'll be home on a Monday, somewhere around you. What followed was a solid nine years on the road. He left the band in 1983 to live a much more placid life. We all worked very hard on each other's songs and tried to make them the best that we could. But his memories were abruptly tarnished when the original members were advised they'd lost the rights to the name Little River Band to other members who joined later on. As former manager Glenn Wheatley told Sunday Night in 2015... You're not the Little River Band, you own the name. That part's right, but you're not Little River Band. The US version lives on to this day, but clearly they're not the real thing. They're just a tribute band, really. Beeb now lives in Nashville, but he's back in Adelaide this week for a special occasion. Beeb is being inducted into the South Australian Music Hall of Fame, an honour he takes seriously. Especially seeing as it's the South Australian Music Hall of Fame because this is where it all started for me. And that involves playing a special gig at the German club tonight. Crowds can expect a cross-section of Beeb's half a century long career. Some Zoot numbers, uh, a Mississippi song and a few Little River Band songs. Hall of Fame curator Victor Marshall says he's a very worthy inductee. He's already in here uh, as part of Pictures of Zoot and LRB and his name will be added to the honour roll board. Beeb's induction coincides with the release of his memoir, Every Day of My Life. I started writing and I kept writing and I kept writing and I didn't stop writing for about six months. While it's a personal reflection on a life in the spotlight, Beeb also reached out to musicians, friends and family to hear their observations. I've incorporated that into my memoir so you're not always hearing it from my point of view. And while he now lives a world away, his links to Adelaide remain stronger than ever after writing his book. It just all came flooding back to me, all my memories. Mm -hmm.